Last year, you know by now, most of you, that the most precious thing to me, my flower, my daughter, Basma Wahaj, died at the young age of just short of her 20th birthday. She had been married one year, and she had given birth a week before, healthy all of her life. And then Allah, the Almighty, decreed that she should go. Did it hurt me? Yes. The greatest gift to me, that daughter, a good Muslim. Many of you young sisters know her, or some of you know her, a good Muslim. But yet, I am reminded in the Quran, Glory be to him in whose hands is the dominions of the heavens and the earth. And he, Allah, created death and life to test you who's best in conduct. So the purpose of life is to be tested by Allah and death to be tested by Allah. You, if you live long enough, will lose a loved one. Your mother, your father, your grandmother, your grandfather, your uncle, your husband, your wife, your children, all of you will be tested by death. After all, 50 million people a year. It's inevitable. So the real question is not to get angry, or the real point is not to get angry at Allah because Allah took your loved one. Recognize No soul can die except by the permission of Allah It's already written in a book I have nothing to do with that We try our best to live the best life that we can live Eat good food Stay away from the haram But even if you eat the most healthy of food You exercise and you, and you run and you jog and you do all of that Yet, there's no guarantee that your life would be extended. We're here but by grace of Allah.